Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to tonight's meeting of the Committee of Adjustment. This is a meeting to consider applications for minor variance and consents that is held under the authority of the Planning Act of Ontario. Please keep in mind the intent of this process is to review the proposal that's before us, listen to the evidence and then make a decision. This process is not intended to be used to resolve any concerns or disputes that may exist between the town, individuals or organizations. If a request for a deferral is made this evening and the committee grants such a request, the committee, after consultation with our Secretary Treasurer, will set a new hearing date. No further notice will be provided unless there are changes to the application. In order to conduct an effective and efficient hearing, we have adopted the following process. The owner or authorized agent will be given the opportunity, if so desired, to briefly explain to us the basis of the application and answer any questions that may arise out of the hearing. A maximum of five minutes will be provided for this presentation. You need to state your full name and address for the record, and any material submitted to the committee for viewing will remain a co uh, property of this committee. Any submissions beyond the five minutes uh, will be at the discretion of this committee. All persons attending uh, the hearing this evening who wish to support or oppose an application must also state their full name and address for the record. A maximum of five minutes will be provided to make your presentation. All remarks and questions are to be directed to the chairperson of the committee, and any submissions beyond the five minutes will also be at the discretion of this committee. If there are several speakers uh, sharing the same view, please select the spokesperson to represent the combined group's opinion. We want to hear all the views. However, covering the same points will not uh, help us arrive at a quicker decision. The owner or agent will then be provided with a further five minutes to respond to comments made by any interested parties and answer any questions from the committee members. If the uh, owner or agent has any concerns found in the staff report, particularly with any proposed conditions, this will be your opportunity to advise us. The matter will then be taken to the, into the committee for a decision and that will mark the end of all discussions. Once our committee makes an oral decision this evening, any person desiring a copy must file with the Secretary Treasurer at this meeting a written request for notice of decision. A green sheet is provided in the back table for this purpose. Please note that you must make a written request in order to be included on the list that is used by the Ontario Municipal Board, which I think now is called a local, uh, uh, local appeal body. They recently had a name change in legislation, so we'll have to amend that. Um, so this list will be used by the local appeal body for the giving of any subsequent notice of any appeal. Written notice of the committee's decision will be mailed not later than 10 days for minor variance and 15 days for consents to the applicant, the owner, and or agent and any other person who filed a written request for such notice. If you do not agree with the committee's decision, you may appeal this to the uh, local appeal body. The last day to appeal the decision of the, uh, to the local appeal body will be noted on the decision itself. If no appeal is received within the prescribed time frame, uh, the decision of our committee becomes final and binding, and the secretary treasurer will then notify the applicant through written correspondence. People attending this committee meeting are to be courteous to respectful members of the committee, town staff, and other people in attendance tonight. And uh, tonight's meeting will be live streamed and available for future viewing on the town's live stream webpage at uh, oakville.ca backslash live. We ask that you uh, put your cellular phones and pagers in the uh, in, uh, off or silent position during the course of this hearing. Thank you. Okay, so we have uh, two regrets this evening. Ms. McHale cannot be here and Mr. Charlebois, uh, and Mr. Talowski is on his way, but he's not here. Um, so we can't deal with applications until Mr. Talowski arrives. He should be here in the next 10, 10 to 15 minutes. But is there anyone here this evening that wishes to uh, defer or withdraw an application? Sorry? Okay, we can deal with the deferral. No. We have to wait, eh? Okay. 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 Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we're in a position where we can't advance any applications even for a deferral. Um, Mr. Uh, Hardcastle, I should ask you: Do you have any declaration of any pecuniary interest? Okay. Okay. So we'll we're going to stand down. Our procedural bylaw allows us to. Uh, uh, to wait for 30 minutes after the hearing commences. Mr. Talowski and I have been in communication. He's stuck in traffic. He should be here uh, soon. 10 minutes is the latest. So sh he should be here by about 7.15. So we'll resume at that point. So we'll just stand down for uh, 10 minutes. 
Okay, so we'll just note uh, adjournment at uh, 7707. Perfect.
Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Teleski, for uh, navigating that heavy traffic out there. Um, uh, we we uh, read the preamble and we've noted the regrets. Is there any pecuniary interest you have to declare on any applications? Hopefully not, because we'll be in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> None, Mr. Chair. I just okay. uh, to thank everyone for indulging. It's a club I've got on my hands, slowing me down. But I was going to make sure I got here and not have to have the meeting canceled. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's very helpful. Appreciate your efforts to get here. Um, okay, there was one person that had a, a deferral request there. You want to come forward? Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Good My evening. Is, pardon? Yes, it's uh, Richard Dobosch from Abstract Design and Build, 5359 Timberley Boulevard, Unit 23, Mississauga, Ontario. Yes, we're wishing to defer the application to give us more time to find some common ground with the planning department. Okay. Uh, anyone here on application CABA uh, 2017 at 505 Brookside Drive? Okay. Members, uh, any questions on the uh, deferral request? Okay, all those in support? Okay, sir, you're deferred. Thank you. Uh, you have to be in touch with our secretary yep. treasurer. The earliest that you get on is January the 30th, and hopefully you'll have it uh, resolved by then. Thank you. Okay. If you submit, um, it has to be submitted by the end of this week. This week. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. If not, we'll get you another date. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Good night. Okay, we'll take application CAVA uh, 201 of 2017 at 1297 Warwick Avenue. No, we're uh, not councillors. We're members of the Committee members of, of the committee Adjustment. So, uh, yes, sir, name and address for the record. And address is 1387. So you got to speak up on the microphone, sir, because we're having a hard time hearing you. All right, Scott McBain, address 1387 Selkirk Avenue here in Oakville. And uh, I've read through the comments that you guys made back to my application for 1297 Warwick, and it's pretty much in parallel with what we hoped you would say. So... Nothing more to say before we go. Okay, so we'll then uh, take this matter to committee. Who would like to move a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Hardcastle. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, having reviewed the materials, um, including uh, the staff report, uh, I'm satisfied that the requested variance conforms to the four tests of the Act. I'll put forward a motion of approval subject to uh, two conditions, the first being that the proposed garage, excuse me, <coughs> the proposed garage be constructed in general accordance with the plans dated October 2017 as submitted. And the second being that the approval will expire within two years of the date of the decision if a building permit has not been issued. Okay, thank you. Uh, discussion recommendation? Seeing none, all those in support subject to those two conditions. Okay, your application has been approved, sir. Thank you very much. Have okay, then we'll take our final application for this evening, application CAVA 202-2017 at 1184 Cynthia Lane. Good evening, sir. Name and address for the record? Austin, Austin K. 1184 Cynthia Lane. Okay, thank you. Is anyone here on this application, uh, 1184 Cynthia Lane, CAVA 202-2017? Okay, members, I'm in your hands. You wish a full presentation on this? you have any items of clarification? Sir, anything you wish to add to the application? Uh, none at all. Okay, well, then we'll take this matter to committee. This is something that was done... Uh, uh, some time ago as well, in 2014. Okay, so members who would like to move a recommendation? Thank you, Mr. Teleski. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I'll be happy to move that this application be approved as applied for. It's uh, clearly the epitome of a technical variance and uh, the existing pool is not intrusive in, in any way. And uh, given that it's an existing situation, Mr. Chair, I would um, move approval with no conditions and I would also note that there is a letter of support from the community. Okay. Yes, there is a letter of support. Yes. Okay, thank you. A discussion recommendation. Seeing none, all those in support? All right. Uh, your application has been approved, sir.
Thank you very much. All right, we'll take a motion for adjournment. We have no minutes. Mr. Hardcastle, all those in support? Okay, we're adjourned at 7.16. Thank you, uh, everyone, for their uh, patience tonight, and happy holidays to everyone.